We're with Callum Hawkins, FPSG Athlete of the Year for 2019. How pleased are you to be acknowledged and, and recognised in this way? What was it, a year of top performances? I'm re really honoured, especially with um, all the athletes who were up for nomination. I, I really didn't think I would get it. I think anyone on that list in any other year would have won it. If we go back to, to London in April, how confident were you about breaking that Alistair Hutton long-standing Scottish man record? I think you did mention it beforehand, maybe in a BBC yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just mentioned that as my, my soft goal, to be honest. I was really confident I would I would break it. Um, training had been going real, really well and I'd been running PBs in training, so I was really confident. But it's it's enough. It's, it's all the same about being confident, but actually going out and doing it, it's a different thing. Well, I remember it. You said you were hoping for that and a top 10 finish, which is almost exactly what you got. So you didn't set yourself up too much? No, no, I yeah, kept my actual um, goals a little bit softer to the media. Well, well, that that run in London was a year on almost exactly from Gold Coast, and I think you did say that you had a slight wobble at 40k. Was that a mental or a physical thing? Uh, I felt physical at the time, yeah. I'd, I'd probably pushed it a little bit too hard, the 5k before that, but um, I managed to go over and make it to the line, even though it wasn't very quick. So you weren't thinking about the Gold Coast thing by that stage? Um, maybe for half a second when I had that wobble, I was like, oh no, here we go again, but... I quickly got over it and managed to finish. Well, going into Doha, I think you you had a slight injury. I think at one point, not not too long before yeah. it as well. So, so how confident were you in with, with a tough course and the conditions? W were you thinking that that was what you were going to be able to do? Be really contend as as much as that? Um, yeah, I got injured about three weeks out. I got a hamstring injury, so I didn't actually run too much the three weeks before. But um, I was I was fairly confident the way training would be going. You know, I just before I got hurt, I'd absolutely smashed one of my sort of staple sessions so I was fairly confident but it was just about getting the legs right and then on the day it was uh, I could easily have um, seen myself scraping the top down the field as it's a pretty strong field and the conditions kind of got a bit better which I wish I would hope they'd stayed as bad as they were for the women's but um, yeah I was really happy to be fourth but still disappointed at the same time. And since Doha We've seen your brother Derek get a PB, which, which which was terrific after a long injury layoff, and, and Steph Twell's broken the Scottish record just as you did, a very long-standing record. With your dad leading the Scottish Marathon Project as well, Scottish Athletics Marathon Project, how encouraging is it that from the very top we're seeing obviously an impact, but you're hoping for a bit more further down? Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, you see people that you either grew up with watching running or you see them at your local cross-country routes or road races that... You see they're just normal people and you see the times they're running and hopefully that'll push people on. I think you just need to look at the 2016 marathon. You saw um, myself and other people, um, Derek and Segai running fairly quick and make the Olympic team. And I think just marathon running in Britain itself has improved because they've seen the normal guys do it. And in terms of Scotland, I mean, the goal would be to have full teams for the next Commonwealth, so have, have three strong men and three strong women really contending, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we're fairly close to that, um, to get full teams, at least on the men's side and fairly close on the women's side. Well, before that, of course, no small matter of the Olympics, and I think I've, I've already seen you saying that it'll be tougher than Doha, but, but, but will that, is that what will drive you on through the rest of this winter? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't want it to be an easy medal. <laughs> I want to win it because it is the toughest race to do, and that'll sort of push me on to increase my game. Smashing. Thanks, Callum. Thanks.